Welcome back to NGTV Does City Skyline Tips, featuring myself, your co, your co-host, your only host, Spencer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, for this particular episode, we're going to be going over traffic and roads, and most importantly, just kind of some tips and guidelines that should you know help you in designing your city, especially the initial infrastructure, and making sure that you don't have any problems in the future. A couple things you can do here is, um, just like I said before, if you lay down a road in the beginning, uh, that will actually unlock all of your other roads, for all of your other initial roads. That way you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to build a road because all I have is this road. And then you build it and you're like doing all this other stuff. Like, oh, wait, now I have one ways. One ways are pretty useful. Or maybe I want to do four lane roads, which is a, a big no-no. It's actually not a big no-no, but I'll explain that in a second. So the initial part of our city here, it's always a good idea because when you're dealing with traffic, you want to avoid intersections and you want to control the flow. So if I were to start my city, say, I mean, you know, I'm not going to go way out there. It's, it's, it's way expensive, but I'll start it in this general area. And uh, this part of the city is going in because I'm an American and I have the road on the right side. And I'm going to go maybe four in with my one way to go, go in this direction. And then what I'll do is, you know, how far is this? It's, it's about two. And then I'll come back. No, you know what? No, you see, you, you see, this is why you pay attention. Build two lane, about three out, and then you bring your one way all the way back. Bam, right there. So you build it three out, you have two in the middle. There's a one way uh, kind of heading into the city. Now, what you want to do is, is, is of course, you never want to build your city too close to the the edges here. It's not a good idea because you're going to build it all here. It's, 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 it's going to get super congested, and then you're going to be forced to buy down here. Now, it's going to happen anyways because eventually the... Um, the density of the traffic going into your city because you have so many great people living there is uh it's gonna be a ma major issue for this particular design of the roads you're gonna want to put better uh you know infrastructure here maybe add in another area going into your city somewhere else depending on which map you choose now what i'll do here is i'll go ahead and leave this but i'll add on a little bit more of a one way going up maybe four more of this oh no see uh -huh. go three out and then bring my one way back. And you know, you always want to have kind of oh uh, let's let's pick a midway point here. Where is a good midway point? So let's, while I'm trying to figure out my midway point, I'll go ahead and use a design that I've been using here for a short while. There you go. That's what I want. You you want to give people options to turn around in case they need to go to a particular part of the city. And what's great is with um with two lane roads, you don't have any intersections, so people just kind of go, and you don't have to worry about red lights or, or, or any stop signals to make sure that people are moving along. You know, uh, that's the problem with four lane roads. Is four lane roads when you create them, for the sake of our money, I'll go ahead and just do this. When you create them, they create stoplights, and stoplights create red lights, and we don't want those because they slow traffic down. So use four lane roads sparingly. They are a good choice above six lane in case you don't have a lot of money at the moment. But really, you should just save up and get, you know, go for a six lane road if you need higher density roads. Um, another thing to worry about with six lane roads while we're talking about that is they are much, much larger. So if you're worried, like, say you're not doing this particular design uh, of an area, maybe you're doing something more akin to one of these where you do, you fill in all the space that you can. Doing a six lane road is going to vastly reduce the amount of space you have as well as with this particular area i'm not gonna be able to do six lane roads with this in the future i mean i might be able to but they're so close that might become an issue later on uh, i don't have a lot of experience with this particular uh thing to, to be able to tell you whether or not I, I thought i clicked on that that's gonna become an issue in the future so that's gonna be fun uh the, the number one thing with the part of this game like i said last time have fun with it don't worry about building the best city in the world in the beginning you're not going to so don't worry about it let's go ahead and go, go on with building roads here this is a design that I've been doing for a while. It's somewhat based on the grid system, but instead of doing that little one like I, like, like I showed you before, it creates less intersections and still utilizes a huge area. It also allows you to build most sizes of, of uh, buildings. So this is one that I've been doing kind of in my own time. And so I'm just going to build kind of enough to cover the current area that I have here. And then we'll move on. And remember, I have my one-way roads here bringing everyone in. So that's really, really great. And what I might end up doing is I might end up upgrading these to six-lane roads for my industry, which is another great thing about this design is because you can put, you can put larger roads and not worry about completely losing the middle part here. Because it just pushes them back by about a line or so on all sides, uh, the bigger roads you get. 
So, uh, zoning it here, I'm going to talk a little bit more about zoning later on, but I'm just going to kind of do some basic things here. It's always a good idea to leave a buffer zone in between you and your industry, just in case. People don't usually like being that close to uh, their, their industry, so I will just do this. Here, I'll use the marquee tool. A quick tip, you can click inside the little box and it dictates where your square, square is. So even if I'm doing this, if I do the marquee right here, it's still going to do like that instead of like this. So it's kind of a neat little thing that I slowly figured out, which I really wish I would have known a little bit sooner, but whatever. So I'm going to do this, and this is all going to be residential. You always want a lot of residential because um, everyone wants it. You know, this is where people live. So, And then I'll put my commercial as my buffer right here. That's a pretty good little buffer. And then I'll put my industry on the other side. All right. And that's just our basic city plan. So I'll go ahead and unpause just to kind of get our city going. Now, the other things with traffic you, 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 you want to make sure that you pay attention to is your trash. Uh, like I said in the last video, uh, in in the getting started, in case you didn't watch that one, you're just wanting to learn about traffic, just specifically trash, uh, cemeteries, uh, basically everything in the game depends on good road design. So you want to make sure that you don't you have very few intersections to slow people down. You want to make sure that you have good outlets towards the city for your industry. You don't want your industry to be in the middle of the city, have a bunch of four lane roads or slow down traffic or something to that effect, and then you can't get anything to your industry, which then completely kills it because that's where you make all you know a lot of your money. Industry provides products for the commercials. Uh, industry provides jobs for the people. So if they're not able to provide their products or you know whatever, that tends to be an issue. So right here, I want to make sure that I'm following all the rules that I have before which is building my infrastructure for my city. I got too involved in talking about my city, and I totally forgot to build up my initial infrastructure here. So I'm going to follow some of the rules that I went before. You can watch the previous video if you want to learn a little bit more about an overview as to, as, as to good design, or at least, you know, I, I feel like, you know, good tips when it comes to starting out your city for the first time with City Skylines. And I'm going to build. I'm going to build this probably right about here. It's good because it's close to where the start of the town is, which is nice. And then, um, just to make sure everything runs smoothly, I'm going to be moving this across here. You could wait and see if people are going to creep closer to there, but really, it's not really worth it. So I'm just going to build this across, maybe to like here. Build this down here. This is expensive at first, but you can always just get rid of it later, and it really pays off just to have everyone have power. So that's going to do it for our our initial build up here. Going more into uh, some few tips in regards to your traffic you, you, you're going to need to know. Uh, I already talked about the two lane roads and how there's no intersections. Uh, one ways are very, very good for directing traffic around uh, and, and getting them in and out of big areas. I might want to do maybe a one way road here and one way road there uh, just to kind of get people moving in a circular fashion in regards to uh, our, 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 our coal our coal at the moment here and uh let me take a look here all right look looks like the only the only th other thing that i really wanted to talk about here is building trees to reduce uh your noise pollution so right now we actually can't build trees oh see i'm going into in, into the red so what, what i want to do here is you know i'll take a look i'll do this live here for you you see you look at our electricity look at our water we're doing great for electricity and water also why what is what is this oh, what is what is the issue here man you having a problem? You having a problem? Why aren't you starting up, man? Okay. Let's try this again. So when I say... You got water. You have a fucking got water. Is that going to be an issue for you? We're going to have to talk? You have electricity. You got water. I don't know what's going on. Water pumping station? Water drain pipe? I don't know. Anyways... I like almost totally lost my train of thought just now because I got so upset with my freaking with my stupid water drain pipe over there. Anyways, Jesus. Hopefully you guys stick around for my uh, needless banter with my own water drain pipe. Uh, so as you can see, uh, you know, I could spread with that. So, so what I can do is I can actually turn these down to about 80 or so. And I'll still have enough to power the city. You only need enough to get above that little yellow line. And then that's going to reduce the amount of cost that I have here. And also, you're, you're going to eventually make more money with the more houses because you make money off the of taxes. So it's great. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Um, if you have any tips 
uh, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, if you want more explanation in regards to the roads and uh, more in depth, I might be making a more advanced video later on down the line. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.